Next, we draw a square with 25 centimeter sides and draw a diagonal into it and what kind of triangles are formed. And I need my protractor. For this problem, I need my protractor because it says a square and I want to have right angles in my square, okay? I don't want to just eyeball it. I will draw a 25 centimeter side, first of all, here. That's 25 centimeters. And now I will draw a right angle going up from here and then another from here using my protractor, okay? I'm going to draw the line here and then line up this 90 degree mark with the midpoint here. And that way I get an exactly right angle. Okay, this is not yet 25 centimeters though, so I need to continue it and measure my 25 centimeters. Over there. And now the other right angle that goes here. Again, I need to line up this mark with my existing line. See? There, I get a right angle here. And here. Now, measure the 25 centimeters. There. And now, all I need to do is draw the fourth side. All done. Draw a diagonal into it. Okay, what kind of triangles are formed? The question has to do specifically with the angles of the triangles. Is this triangle an obtuse triangle, an acute triangle, or a right triangle? And since it has one right angle, it is a right triangle, right? And this one too, so they are right triangles. Another way we can classify triangles is by their sides. And since this is a square, you know, this is 25 and this is 25. This, my triangle has two sides that are congruent, are the same. So it is an isosceles triangle. Draw a copy of this triangle. Now I want to show you something kind of neat. What do I think about it first? What do I need to be able to copy this triangle? If I want to draw a copy of it here, what do I need to know from this triangle? You might say that, okay, I need to know all the angles and all the sides, how long the sides are, how big the angles are. But it turns out I don't need all that information. All I need to do is measure this angle, or measure two angles, and measure the side between those two angles. So let me measure now. Measure this angle. Protractor, I have to put the vertex here in the midpoint. Line up this. And the angle opens up here, over there. So it's 75. Then measure this angle. Forty degrees. And then measure how long this is. Twenty-nine and a half centimeters. That's all I need to know. Because over here I will now first draw the twenty-nine and a half centimeters. There. Now I will make a 75 degree angle over here. I will draw 75 degrees. Line up my protractor and then it opens up over here 75. I make my mark and then I draw. Then I make a 40 degree angle over here. Now I have my mark so I will draw it. And you see now that my line crosses over here. So the triangle is now all down. Nothing else is needed to be done. It is in a little bit different orientation, basically as if I had rotated it, because I did not draw this first line slanted like this, but trying to make it straight. But anyway, it's a copy of the triangle. I hope this was helpful.